All right, summer is almost here. Some mm -hmm. of you are probably in the process of planning a road trip. California has a lot of great places to visit. And there's a new road trip movie playing in theaters. It's unlike any other summer movie because it gets into some heavy stuff. Our Marcus Allen is in studio to talk about Ezra and what the heavy stuff is. Mark? Yeah, it is a road trip movie, so that's great. And also, it's summertime. We just told you it's going to be over 100 degrees. Go to a movie theater where it's cool and go see Ezra for a multitude of reasons. Look, I'm going to tell you it makes the world a better place and it's inspirational. But don't think for a moment that it's sappy or so heavy. It's remarkably funny and poignant. Bobby Cannavale is in it. Rose Byrne is in it. And that kid, William Fitzgerald, is going to go on to win awards. Uh, he is autistic. He plays a character that is autistic and crushes every single scene. We talked about it. Take a look. Two of you are the best of the best, and you've worked with the best of the best. But when you're playing opposite this guy, how do you hold your own without, like, just looking around and going, are you seeing this? Are you looking at this performance? <laughs> Rose, for you specifically, uh, how was it? Oh, uh, I mean, it, yeah, it, you, it, it was... Uh, it's a testament to Tony Golden, too, to get this incredible cast. You know, he was so extraordinary at doing that. But, like, yeah, you've you've still got to try to stay in the moment, even though you might feel uh, overwhelmed with someone. Yeah, it's one of those one of those things. But I felt like, you know, finding William was, was really hard, too. Finding William Fitzgerald, they saw over 100 young actors and who were all fantastic. But it's about chemistry, right, and finding that right chemistry with Bobby and William is just very natural and um, charming and warm. And he had that warmth to sort of carry him through. Yeah. And you know, you're right. There were many, many times that you'd go, uh, you know, you'd cut and go, did you, did, did you see what he did? Did, did, you, did you guys, did you catch that? Because this kid was just money every time. You know, it's an independent film, so we don't have the luxury of shooting all day. A, you know, it was just a few takes here and there. And the kid's first take every time was, was just on the money. Um, he's just got great instincts. He's totally present. He's incredible with an ad lib. He would he ad libbed all over the place, and all of most of his improvs are are, are in the movie. And uh, again, you know, like it's uh, it says a lot to be able to do this as long as we've been doing it and have a completely new experience, a real eye opening experience, something you can take with you into the future with other projects. And you know, who knew I would get that from working with a thirteen year old. And that 13-year-old is William Fitzgerald, and he is so good in this movie. Look, this is one of these movies where you're going to see it, and then you go, hey, have you seen that movie? Ezra, it's good. Why didn't you tell me about it? I'm telling you right now, it is a great movie. Uh, by the way, they mentioned Tony Goldwyn. Tony Goldwyn stars in it. He also directed it. If you don't automatically know who that is, he's best known in my mind as the bad guy in the movie Ghost. Anyway, Ezra, now playing. Go see it. It's what to watch. Oh, yeah, Ghost, the last from the past. I love that movie. <laughs> Who doesn't like Ghost? But there's a lot of big names, like De you Niro's said, Robert De Niro. Too. Yeah. What's, what's he doing? De Niro, Whoopi, he's, uh, he plays the kid's granddad. He's great in it. And uh, it's this kid's first performance ever. It's not going to be the last. He is autistic in real life. He's on the spectrum playing somebody of that way. And it's a celebration. And I don't mean to say this is a sappy, made-for-TV movie. It's great. Okay, that's good to know. Ezra. Ezra. Yeah, they're That's learning your... a lot from that 13-year-old. <clears throat> How to watch. Thanks for highlighting that, Mark. Always something good with you to watch at the movies. Okay.